Hey Rich, Dave, how are you? I hope this catches you well. Um, we hope you got five minutes to spend watching this. I, uh, I want to communicate with you a little bit. I have had a chance now to take this situation with the rental and provide, in my own thinking, perspective. I've stayed away from there for a few days to clear my head, get away from all the, the, the tension and the demands, and just think about this whole situation. And to be honest with you, you know, I'm sure you could say the same thing. I'm not pleased with the way this thing fell out, okay? Um, and I'm sure you understand that because you're probably not either. You can say you're not, but in the end, your, your confidence in me was shaken, if not permanently, at least for a while, okay? Because I, I heard it in your voice that the morning after you talked to them people and they sent you the, the uh, inspection, you were livid with, you know, who, who did you get to maid service the house? You know, you were mad. And I don't blame you. I'm not mad at you for being mad, okay? But this whole thing, the way it fell out, uh, is, is problematic for me because I, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not used to fielding complaints. I'm not used to fielding anything but positive affirmation, good job, attention to detail. I don't know if you took the time yet to read my reviews. But you read through the reviews I sent you on my Better Business Bureau website, and you you say Dave Pantelli isn't capable of what happened over here at this house because it's inconsistent with my history. But um, there's reasons this happened this way, and and I'm I'm sorry. And, and again, I'm not trying to tag you, Rich. I appreciate the work. I hope we have a lasting relationship, you know. But I'm not pleased that I didn't stand my ground with you when you were insisting that I get that place ready by the first. Not, not only was that questionable when we first started talking about it, but as the week, next week, week and a half, two weeks went by, the amount of work you wanted me to do there was almost doubled. I mean, you look at the list of work I did there, a lot of that stuff was added after we initially were having a problem coming together on the first. So I set myself up for failure. Those people, when they showed up on, on, the, on uh, the day they moved in, the day they showed up, I had talked to them on the phone the day before. They were supposed to show up, drop a load, and go back to Tucson for two days and get another load. So I thought I had time to get what was punch list. What ended up happening is they showed up and stayed, you know. And here I am, you know, with them with their list. And, you know, and you know, some of the stuff was legitimate. To be honest with you, most of the people I work with in rentals would have walked in that house and just been happy with it and not said a word. They might have had a few things on the inspection, but the house looked good. It was ready. You see the pictures I sent you. The house was, was ready to go. But these people, I mean, they're, they were fanatical about their, their movement. I mean, some of the stuff they had on their list was absolutely ridiculous. And I tried to set you up for that, knowing that this was going to happen. Stuff like a hole in the floor upstairs, absolute nonsense. That, that floor barely has a soft spot, you know. But all that stuff they put down, you know. Um, a lot of the stuff they put down there, dirty string on the uh, blinds and all that. But the bottom line is, is, is the way you and I both handled this was a setup for failure. You know, you insisted on, you know, the first, the first, the first. At first you told me I could have till the seventh. And then uh, all of a sudden one day it was the first, you know, and I, and I was trying to kind of hedge against that because I know how long it takes to do some things. And then those people get here and they said, man, we told Rich we could move in on the 10th, or 15th, then I was really confused because the way I was understanding it from you is 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 they, they needed to be there, you know, by the 1st. And once they were committed, yeah, then they needed to be. But they, they told me there was no rush to begin with. So right now, you know, your confidence in me, I feel, is shaken. Their confidence in me is completely shattered. They must think I'm some flake, you know. And, uh, and and I'm feeling like shit about all of it. And I have spent, you know, days over there. I, let me tell you something. Following their little punch list so it wouldn't get back to you, which it ended up getting back to you anyway. They, they wrote most of the shit down I fixed in their inspection report. So that inspection report just became uh, a forum to air their grievances because most of that shit was already taken care of. So... Um, the, the whole thing was a, was a, just, a, excuse my friends, it's a clusterfuck, you know. 
And now I got to go back over there again. You realize I've spent since since that house they moved in, I have spent two entire days over there with my crew at the cost of one guy's 20 bucks an hour, 25 some jobs. This one was 20. Other guy's 15. 35 bucks an hour for two days translates to $600. Rich, I only made a couple thousand, $2,500 on that whole job. And just being over there punch listing took 25% of my profits away, you know, and now I got to go over there again, you know? And so what I'm saying is this whole thing was said, I should have stood my ground with you and, and, uh, and, and insisted I need a few more days in this. And I didn't. And that's my fault. It's not your fault. Again, I, I'm not mad. I'm not trying to ruffle your feathers. I'm not trying to piss you off. I hope in time this will all be behind us and we can get on and have a good relationship. And you'll see I'm about as trustworthy, reliable, and thorough as they come. You know, um, so I, I just wanted to get all this out there and have you just give a listen, you know, and, and sense my frustration. Now, I'm going to deal with these people over there. I'm going to be courteous and respectful. But this this thing with the, the – at this point, it's a matter of principle. Okay, this thing with the indentation this big in the drywall, now, there's no way on God's green earth that we missed that or blew by that. You know, you and I walked that house. With dark green walls, that would have stuck out like a sore thumb. The white drywall would have pe been peeking through all that. And then we sprayed the whole house. My eyes caught, covered every inch of that place because I got to spray every inch of it. Then I had a guy behind me back rolling to push the paint into the texture. And so he would have felt that or seen that. There's no way that we put it, that we left a dent in that wall. Why didn't it make it onto any of his inspection? Why, or why didn't it make it onto his punch list that he gave me? Uh, when he first, when I first got there, or why didn't he bring that to my attention when I was working there those two days? Because it wasn't there. He did that, and I'm not going to sit there and fix something for free for this man after what they've done. You know, they didn't have to blow you up like they did, and they didn't have to blow me up like they did. So uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and, and you know, and I got to tell you, I appreciate appreciate Bob's loyalty. Bob Bob would have Bob has been in that position before. And, and, and deferred to me and said, you know, you're going to have to deal with Dave, you know, and I'm not going to listen, entertain, you know, any nonsense. You know, you're dealing with Dave. Dave reports to me, you know, Bob would have shut that shit right down, you know, and Bob's loyal. So anyway, um, all that to say, I'm, 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 I'm upset about the way things unfolded. I'm not mad at you. Again, I'm hoping this doesn't further inflame you. But this, I needed to get a sense of closure and understand this. It's just me trying to get closure, you know, and this will do it. You know, whether you hate it or like it or whatever, it, it, it'll put it to rest for me because I've been pissed off about this for days. You know, again, I'm not used to dealing with complaints from people, you know, and, and the, these people are something else, you know, and I hope you hold them to the same standard when they move out, you know, that, they, that they're holding. So, I mean, putting things on there like uh, the, the, the microwave is the dirty you know, in food stain, there was a piece of, of uh, here, let me see. There was a piece of, um, I don't even have anything small enough to show you. There was a piece of of, uh, of uh, candle wax inside there about that. See the distance of my fingers? About that big sitting on the ceiling of the microwave. You know, you can barely see it, you know. And then they put dirty microwave, you know, spray paint, spray painted. I didn't spray paint anything. I have epoxy that I get from the manufacturer of those things that, that forever seals a scratch. You know, there was a scratch on the side of it. Big deal. You know, so anyway, um, all that to say, uh, I'm going to go to bed. It's late here. But I wanted to get this off to you. And I hope you take it with, with, take it with stride. You know, again, my intentions are good. I just need to get closure. And I welcome your input. You know, anything you got to say about it is fine. I'll talk to you later. All right? See you.